Looking for the slickest Santoku knife around? Our expert reviewers researched dozens of models and purchased the 10 best Santoku knives of 2021. A dull knife can be more dangerous than one that is razor sharp, and we were especially interested in finding ones that slice, dice, and chop effectively. There are many options out there, and we've done the work to test models at different price points and sizes to find the right ones for almost any recipe. Whether you are looking for a durable, everyday blade, or one that is more of a statement piece, our expert reviewers have explored the ins and outs of the form and function of these knives to help you make a better informed decision. The first product on our list is J.A. Henkel's International Hollow Edge. The J.A. Henkel's International Hollow Edge is one of the sharpest knives in this review. It takes the top spot for its consistent, high-quality cuts. It easily slices through onions and chops herbs without bruising them. We find that this knife is well-balanced and feels just weighty enough in hand to provide efficient and fluid chopping power. The full tang forged blade with a triple riveted handle is just right for almost any kitchen cutting task. Though it performs well as a slicer, it is surprisingly uncomfortable to hold. The bolster is very sharply angled, and its corners just downright hurt when using the knife with a traditional pinch grip. It's an odd oversight for an otherwise well-crafted knife, however, this is a reliable kitchen companion that we would turn to before any other, despite the lack of ergonomics. The next product on our list is Kai Pure Kamachi 2. The Kai Pure Kamachi 2 is a solid budget option. It comes with a protective sheath, and its coated stainless steel blade and plastic handle are both super easy to clean. For those who prioritize durability over aesthetics, this is a great choice. Our testers found that it was reasonably comfortable and sharp enough out of the box, and the high clearance of the handle protects knuckles from contacting the cutting board. We don't have a whole lot to knock about this blade. Our primary observation is that it is all-around average, and that might just be what you need. The materials look and feel inexpensive, and it doesn't have the same gravitas as the other full-size top contenders. In the end, you get what you pay for, and what you pay for is a reliable slicer that is easy to maintain. The next product in our list is Kyocera Advanced Ceramic. The Kyocera Advanced Ceramic is a super sharp Santoku knife with a ceramic blade. It excels pretty uniformly for delicate herbs, or on firmer veggies, like carrots. Its small size makes it a good option for people with small hands. It's a nimble knife that allows for precise cuts. It could even be a great beginner knife for children looking to improve their skills in the kitchen. It is comfortable to hold, its plastic handle is durable, and the whole thing is easy to wash. Like other short blades, this model doesn't stand up quite as well to hefty root vegetables or produce with thick skin. It is also very lightweight, which could be A plus for some, but also means that it doesn't carry the heft you need for larger chopping jobs. Having said that, we love this knife and recommend it highly. The next product in our list is Victorinox Santoku Starter Set. The Victorinox Santoku is a super versatile knife and is razor sharp right out of the package. Its thin blade makes it well suited for delicate, precise slices, but it's also long enough to handle larger vegetables. This blade would be a good choice for anyone looking to test out a Santoku knife for the first time or for those who don't spend tons of time in the kitchen and just need one high utility option. For everything that this knife brings, elegance doesn't seem to be part of the package. It performs well, but its plastic handle is pretty basic. Though it is reasonably comfortable to grip, there is no transition between the blade and handle. Still, there's not much to criticize here, so if you need a solid go-to, this one is worth a strong look. The next product is Mosfiata 7 inches Super Sharp. The Mosfiata Super Sharp is one of the most comfortable knives that we tested. It has an exceptionally well-designed bolster with a gradual slope that conforms beautifully to fingers. Its finished composite handle looks nice, and it has a stainless steel blade with surface etching meant to emulate the pattern of Damascus steel. It handles reasonably well for cutting tasks that don't require a ton of precision. This knife looks great, but we found that it struggled just a little bit with some basic jobs. 
The blade is fairly sharp, but it also exerts a disproportionate amount of drag on produce like onions. The knife made it through vegetables during our slicing test, but our testers reported that each stroke required a confusing amount of force to recover the knife to bring it back for the next slice. We think that this santoku is right for those who want a supremely comfortable grip and don't mind doing a little extra work to process their produce. The next product is Dalstrong Shogun Series Damascus. The Dalstrong Shogun Series Damascus is an elegant and sharp blade. It is supremely comfortable in hand. It has a smooth, gently angled bolster that all but eliminates abrasions during extended use. It has a protective sheath, which helps keep it sharp, and its substantial handle and good balance contribute to an almost superior experience. We were slightly disappointed with how this knife performed during testing. The edge was plenty sharp, but our testers reported feeling a lot of drag behind the blade, especially with thicker or high moisture produce. It's on the pricier side as well, so we think other models can offer greater utility from the cost. However, if you want a knife that looks good and cuts well enough, the Dalstrong fits the bill. The next product is Farberware 5,119,324. The Farberware 5,119,324 is a mighty mini knife. It is great for produce of a particular diameter and density, think zucchini, Brussels sprouts, or carrots, it also manages garlic fairly well. It is very inexpensive relative to the rest of the pack and chops well above its weight class. The handle is plastic but feels almost silicone-like and is easy and comfortable to grip. The primary downside to this knife is that its size limits its versatility. You can get through a butternut squash with it if you have to, but we wouldn't recommend it. Its handle also has relatively low clearance from a cutting board, so you have to watch your knuckles to make sure you can cut all the way through whatever is in front of you. Those things aside, this is an excellent low-cost option for those who want a low-maintenance knife for small jobs. The next product is Mercer Culinary Santoku. The Mercer Culinary Santoku is a comparatively inexpensive pleasant surprise. It is comfortable to hold and well-balanced. Despite its lightweight, it still performs well on everyday slicing and chopping. It doesn't provide the most refined precision cuts, but the blade is thin enough and sharp enough that it will get the most common jobs of slicing onions or chopping herbs satisfactorily done. The drawbacks of this blade mostly come with the price point. It has only a partial tang, meaning the blade only extends partway into the handle. Produce tends to stick to and stack up on its flat face more than normal. The handle itself is unfinished wood, which means that it is liable to wear more quickly than those with a plastic or finished wood composite handle. However, if you are looking for your first full-size Santoku knife at a reasonable price, we think you will enjoy this one. The next product is Vusto 4182. The Vusto 4182 is a short, sharp Santoku that handles small tasks well. We found that it made quick work of garlic, shallots, onions, and herbs in daily use. Because of its size and weight, it is very nimble and feels like an extension of the hand. The handle is also recessed enough that even given its tiny size, it still provides plenty of cutting board clearance for knuckles. The downsides of this knife come down to aesthetics and comfort. It has a riveted plastic handle, which visually doesn't compare to the elegance of finished wood. It also suffers from a metal bolster with oddly sharp angles that we found are abrasive with repeated use. However, all things considered, this model makes a great complement to a full-size knife. The next product is Hammerstyle 7.5 inch. The Hammerstyle 7.5 inch is a behemoth of a blade. The handle is made from a combination of steel and packerwood, giving it a distinctive look. The bolster is relatively smooth and comfortable to grip. We found that this knife performed reasonably effectively on basic tasks that don't require much precision. Typically, knives with some weight behind them make chopping easier. However, this is one of the heaviest models in this review, and it drifts too far into clunky territory. The blade itself is thick, and the metal is heavy. 
using this knife for an extended period of time is tiring. On top of that, we didn't find it to be especially sharp out of the box, and its precision is lacking. It comes with a lot of flair, though, so if you want a unique looking knife, this one delivers. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.